Yes, welcome back. We are on air just for you. Catch the wave, continue surfing on Hallyu, the Korean wave. We talk about Korean culture 100% K wave. We have Debbie in the studio. What's up, Debbie? Hi, Adrian. Hello. Good, yes. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm fine. It's really hot outside. Right? <laughs> I'm I'll tired. agree with you. It's very yeah. hot outside. <laughs> it's the summer season. It's probably uh, the hottest moment of the year. Mm, it really is. Yeah, it felt mm. like I was just being fried, <laughs> like alive. Uh, because what? So. You were walking outside. I was. Uh, you saw me come in the studio. <laughs> I was like sweating balls. Oh, because, yeah. She was about to faint. Yeah, I <sighs> climbed up this huge hill because I thought I needed exercise. And yeah, I just chose a really bad day to do it because yeah. it's just scorching. Watching outside. And Bad idea. Yeah. I, I have my water next to me right now, so I'm okay. <laughs> Good, yes. Drink a lot of water. That's yes. very, very important. <laughs> don't get dehydrated. Yeah, don't do what I did. <laughs> yes. Now, let's ask our listeners also, how's the weather in your country? We had people uh, responding online. Um, apparently, some places it's rainy. Some others, it's really hot. In Lithuania, for instance, it's about 30 degrees Celsius over there. Mm. And that was a message by Aiste. In the south of France, Grenoble to be more precise. Ooh. Grenoble is actually where I um, I studied, where I went to, to my engineering school. Really? So I know the place quite well. I used to mm -hmm. live near uh, Place Grenette. If uh, anyone... Sounds fancy. <laughs> ...listening knows this city <laughs> I in don't France. know, but it sounds fancy. <laughs> Sabi, Sabi Bui was sending us a message, and she says, uh, yeah, it's raining over there. She doesn't... She says it doesn't really feel like the summer, but tomorrow I'll be heading to Korea. Oh, wow. Whoa. Welcome. <laughs> Super news there. She'll hey. be coming to Korea and perhaps uh, enjoying uh, here um, plenty of things. Maybe the food, the people, the culture. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Tell us more. Mm -hmm. uh, in Vietnam, apparently it's also raining. Mm -hmm. Kim Tan from Kim Tam from uh, <laughs> Vietnam was sending us a message. Other places like Indonesia, really hot. Tunisia as well, really hot. Oh, I'm uh, sure. Huh. And it's hot also in the morning, not only in the afternoon. It's like that in Korea also. It's also really humid, so it feels uh, hotter. We talked about this yesterday, summer insomnia with Dr. Ether, Ooh. how the temperature difference at night and during the day is not that big. Mm -hmm. So uh, some people have uh, trouble sleeping at night. Yeah, I actually keep my fan on these days, even yeah. at night, because it's so hot. <laughs> Drinking a lot of water can help, or maybe lowering the level of your uh, mattress. <laughs> oh, really? Can also help a little bit. Oh, yeah. okay, thanks. Because heat rises, so it's actually usually a bit cooler if you stick to the floor. Wow, sounds very <laughs> scientific right there. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about click clicks. We have some buzzwords for our listeners. Yes, In we do. Uh, the second hour, we will be talking about a quiz, a K pop, uh, no, I guess I should say a K star quiz. Mm -hmm, K star quiz. So we'll keep that for a bit later for now. Some buzzwords, where are we going? So, first, our buzzword of the week is red velvet. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure if our listeners heard of this group. It's actually a new girl group uh, from SM Entertainment that's about to make their debut really soon. Mm -hmm. It's also the name of one of my favorite cakes. I know, it might too. <laughs> <laughs> Red velvet. I know when I saw this word like trending on the web, I was like, oh, I guess there's like a new cake place, but no, it was an SM group. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so basically, this group has four members uh, named Sugi, Irene, Wendy, and Joy. So lots of English names there. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to be international. Sure. And they're all between the ages of 18 and 23, so they're not that young. Yeah. Yeah. Were you, you were now getting used to really young stars, like mm -hmm. starting when they're 15, this exactly. time a bit older. So maybe they were training for a long time. Yeah. I don't know. And then the meaning of the, girls, uh, the girl group's name can be interpreted by looking at each word of the group. Mm -hmm. So red symbolizing like powerful seduction. <laughs> Ooh. And velvet having, you know, it's like very smooth, sensual. So put together, SM Entertainment actually explained that Red Velvet aims to seduce the world with their colorful, sensual music. Oh, wow. And performances. A powerful seduction power. Very ambitious right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty different than like Sonia Shide or FX. So they'll have mm -hmm. their own charms maybe like very seductive i don't yeah. know but they're still pretty young so i don't know how seductive they can be but four um, members four, four members. members and we'll slowly get to learn more about them what's their uh, debut track uh their debut track is called happiness and they actually released their teaser video this monday 
Um, it's up on their YouTube page and also on our Facebook page as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's yeah, the clip is actually really short. It's less than 30 seconds, but it's it leaves a very strong impression when you watch it. It's very colorful with yeah. sort of like this African tribal vibe. Ooh. So, yeah, I don't know what the song's going to be like, but mm. they they are very unique. Yeah. Huh. Very strong impression. Red Velvet Happiness. And I was looking at the the beginning of this uh, little uh, teaser, Mm -hmm. and there is a parrot, a red parrot, (laughs) and basically flying towards you. It's very colorful, right? Like the whole video. Yeah, the concept itself is actually very unique. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like uh, going to Wonderland or... Like into the jungle, you know? The jungle. (laughs) Right. Hmm, Interesting concept. Yeah, and this kind of became a huge issue in Korea because it's the first time SM, uh, you know, came up with a new idol group. Yeah. since like two years ago when they released um, EXO. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people are looking forward to their debut, which is going to happen actually this weekend uh, on major music programs like Music Bank, Music Core, and Inkigayo. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and meanwhile, you know, like SM's main rival group, YG, is also preparing another new girl group. Um, they haven't released a date yet, but they are going to come out with a new one. Uh-huh. So also a girl group uh, by YG. getting ready by <laughs> YG. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. Some competition ahead. Mm-hmm. So that was uh, the first buzzword. What's the second buzzword today? The second buzzword is 밤샘 촬영 금지, meaning overnight filming prohibited. What does that mean? So this is actually a new law that went into effect yesterday. It prohibits all minors, minors, um, especially those under the age of 15, Mm -hmm. from working late night hours. So this is actually a law to protect uh, those working in the entertainment industry. I think that's important. I think it's yeah. it's a good move. Yeah, because you know a lot of actors or idol stars they have filming or performances overnight, yeah. and that's really bad for their health. And if, especially if they're that young, it's just yes. it really takes a toll on their growth as well. I think. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's a very good law to protect you know um, their physical health, integrity, yeah. and you know basic freedom that all workers are entitled to. Mm. I think they should have more uh, laws like this, uh, not only for you know the stars uh, mm-hmm. who film, especially mm-hmm. when they're. Young, but also for the people who work because uh, for the staff working on these dramas or these movies it gets pretty tough oh, so you're talking times. about the older ones yeah yeah the adults, adults who work right. uh, you know uh, to film these productions sometimes it's uh, it's really tough long hours mm. sometimes uh, sleepless nights uh, during the summer during the winter outdoors yeah. I think they should have more um, protective laws yeah But I do understand, you know, if you're working in media, like you have to get things done really quickly. A lot of things and the only hours that are available are like the wee hours of the morning. That's true. Yeah. And a lot of production crew, I think they tend to work only at night too if they go Mm. through that schedule. So hopefully, you know, maybe that they will have restrictive hours or something. Okay. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Oh, yeah. And this law also added some restrictions on, like, suggestive performances or outfits, you know, prohibiting these minors from wearing something too provocative. Mm. So, yeah, that's all another plus for the entertainment industry here in Korea. Yeah, we've had some issues before, not necessarily with minors, but uh, just music videos that were showing too much like or too groups, right? revealing for girl groups. Yeah, I think sexy is, like, the new in thing to do yeah. here in Korea right so now. So they have to find the right balance because yeah. if they're going for the too provocative yeah, look too much of anything is bad they might get censored too so <laughs> i mean they might not even have the chance to show us uh, what they have in store so <laughs> yeah not good <laughs> okay well thank you for these uh, buzzwords we'll play a song and then we'll come back with some more okay. uh, more news for our listeners if you have any comments any feedback or song requests join us on the message board arirangradio.com slash catch the wave and if you want to watch the teaser we talked about rel- vel- red <laughs> velvet mm-hmm. there we go uh, new girl group from SM Entertainment. Check it out on Facebook. Catch the wave. This is Teti So Twinkle. Yes, Twinkle, Teti So, the unit group of SNSD, Sonyo Shida here on Catch the Wave. Let's continue on. Debbie is here. Click, click, zoom, continue. Some buzzwords. We talked about Rel- Red Velvet, mm-hmm. uh, the new girl group from SM Entertainment. Uh, we also mentioned uh, overnight filming prohibition, mm-hmm. a new law that will protect minors when they work for dramas or movies. Mm-hmm. And now we're moving on. We have some uh, other buzzwords. Right. So our third buzzword of the week is 
7월 문화가 있는 날, mm-hmm. which means July's a day with culture. Aha. So this thing called a day with culture is actually a special uh, day of promotion hosted by the Korea Culture Information Service Agency. Uh-huh. And it actually began this year. And what happens is that every last Wednesday of the month, like today... <laughs> It's the last uh, Wednesday of yeah. July. Yeah, uh-huh. it takes place every single, uh, every Wednesday, every yeah. last Wednesday of uh-huh. the month. And all these cultural facilities like movie theaters, music halls, art museums, and sports stadiums, they provide special discounts or Ooh. free access to the public. Good. Yeah, so this is going to actually attract more people to visit these places and experience culture. Yeah, that, I think that's very important because we all live... Uh, a hectic life and Mm -hmm. we're all very busy with our schedules and sometimes we don't have the motivation to you know learn more about our town learn Mm -hmm. more about our past our culture Mm -hmm. so if we have uh, maybe uh, the city or the government Mm -hmm. uh, pushing forward some events like this one I think it's good yeah and then you mentioned city and this the cool thing about this is that it's not just in Seoul it happens all around the country good in over 1300 locations Mm. so I'll give you some examples maybe some movie theater Theaters, like all the major ones actually I won't name the brands actually yeah. but they provide almost a 50% discount for the movie tickets from like 6 to 8 p.m. today yeah today so oh, 6 to 8 yeah, we're gonna miss I mean, it. <laughs> we can't go watch any movies right now yeah but if not uh, you have other options like you know you could go to sports stadium or uh, you don't have to pay anything at the entrance when you go to all these traditional palaces mm. or art museums I think that's very, very important, yeah. um, not only for, uh, you know, the people who live in the city, but mm-hmm. also maybe for the people who are visiting, have a day where they don't need to pay, where mm-hmm. they have access to culture for free. Yeah. And I think it should be like that more often. Yeah, and I think it'll be a very, like, classy, easygoing night, especially because it happens in the middle of the week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a reason maybe they chose Wednesday out of, like, all days. Perhaps. So, who yeah. knows? Okay, a day with culture. Keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Every last Wednesday of the month. Yeah, I'll check it out next month. (laughs) Now, we uh, also mentioned this uh, before, but we're going to be talking about a scoop here. Uh, Where are we going? So our last buzzword of the week is actually... (laughs) Chukusta <laughs> yonin sarang. So, which means soccer stars in love with celebrities. <laughs> and yeah, you mentioned you actually went over the uh, scoop related to this topic. Yes. So, because right now, one of the hottest topics in Korean celebrity gossip is, you know, girls say Mina dating that soccer player. Yeah. So, that yeah. soccer player, Son Hung Min. Son Hung Min. That's his name. Yeah, he's only <laughs> 22 and he's getting big. Yeah. And yeah, the news broke out yesterday afternoon, right? That's right, yeah. and uh, we mentioned it also with uh, Semi on, uh, uh, I guess, earlier, uh, mm-hmm. Buzz and Quiz, and we talked about it. It's it's not the first time, but mm-hmm. uh, in the beginning, the agencies were kind of denying it in a way, and then <laughs> <As> they, <always. laughs> at the end of the day, they're like, no, it's official, mm-hmm. and both parties agreed. So mm-hmm. Son Heung Min is actually dating Girls Day Mina. They haven't met for a long time, though. Yeah, and I hear what they met over SNS. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of cool, though. But um, okay. they're, they're cute together. They're only like a year apart. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think they're a cute couple. And actually, this match between soccer players and celebrities, it seems to be like the trend in Korea these days. Why? Because we have other soccer and um, celebrity couples like Park ji Sung, who just got married to a TV announcer, Kim min ji last weekend. Mm. We also talked about that. Park ji Sung, one of... Uh, the most famous uh, Korean soccer players right. in, in history. Actually. Yeah, he's like the biggest soccer star, I think, of our generation. Manchester United, and he also had a, a big role to play during the 2002 World Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so, led the Korean team to the to the semifinals. Yeah, he's like a legendary soccer star here in Definitely. Korea. Definitely. He actually retired recently. He has. Mm. Oh, but yeah, he's happily married. So. I guess he wants to focus on his family life oh, now. It's a new cute. chapter for him. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. And then, yeah, we have some other major celebrity soccer player couples. Like, um, we have actress MC Han Jin, who yes. married uh, Ki Sung Young. Who is, uh, just to note, mm-hmm. much younger than eight her. years eight years younger <laughs> than the woman actually so good for her <laughs> yeah yeah and well, then... maybe good for him too <laughs> yeah <Why not? laughs> i mean she's beautiful so indeed and then we have another one um an jong Hwan and um, former miss korea Lee Hye Won. so mm. yeah this trend between um not just soccer players actually athletes and ce- celebrities it's not a new thing here in korea no. but it's very common 
I think it's uh, it's common not only in in Korea but also all over the world. You really? often have couples with, you know, uh, celebrity sports stars right. and also you know actresses or singers mm-hmm. getting together. Yeah, with so, like yeah. basketball players or football players. Yeah, yeah I've seen baseball that. players. And I think it's because um, you know the celebrities and athletes actually share similar lifestyles because they're all so busy hmm. and they're restricted to you know do a lot of things in public. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure they know people like in between who. Introduce them to each other. Yeah, yeah, and not to mention they're both physically very, very beautiful and in shape. So yeah, you can't help but be attracted to one another. I think. Yes, and I think so too. I think uh, when I am attracted to someone, I also look at uh, I know the the physical part, and mm-hmm. I guess uh, the uh, if the person is good at sports or not. That also mm-hmm. plays a big role. So it can actually go the other way. Maybe a guy celebrity mm-hmm. uh, dating a girl athlete. I haven't seen that yet. No. Yeah, I've yet to see. That. I think I can think of um, Iglesias. I think he was dating, or maybe he still is dating. Anna Kornikova, she used to be a really? tennis player. Oh my yeah. gosh, I didn't, I didn't know that. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, yeah. you, you maybe have some more example. Are you trying to hit something, Adrian? Are you head. dating an athlete right now? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> an athlete, perhaps. Right. But if you have some examples and if you have some comments for us, uh, feel free. Send them to uh, the message board and we'll read your comments in the second hour. We're going to be talking about, I think it's one person. It's not going to be a group, right? Mm-hmm. But she's actually from a group. But yeah, we're only focusing on one person. Who is it going to be, please? It's going to be Hyuna. Sexy Queen Hyuna for yes. our K-Star quiz mm-hmm. coming up in the second hour and you have a chance to win a present, a K-pop CD. So stick around. We'll have more details when we come back and if you have any a song request, you can also send those in with your phone numbers if you want to talk to me live. Are you ready for some music? This is Yi Seung Hwan. Happily ever after. See you soon. Quiz, and mm-hmm. this time we're talking about a lady. Who a is it, please? Special lady by the name of Hyuna. Uh-huh. Hyuna, Hyuna. Hyuna. Sexy okay. icon, Hyuna. Yes, of four minutes. Of four minutes. So tell us more about her. Uh, give us maybe a brief introduction, mm-hmm. and then we'll go into uh, the questions okay. for our listeners. All right, so I'll warm you guys up with some information. So Hyuna is known as the sexy queen of Korea. Mm-hmm. She's a rapper slash singer of girl yeah. group 4 Minute, uh, and as well as the female member of Cube Entertainment's other subunit called Troublemaker. Mm-hmm. Hyuna and Hyunseung. Hyunseung, yes. And she also gained global attention uh, a couple years ago after she appeared in Sai's Gangnam Style music video as the main video girl. That's right. That went uh, viral. And she's the girl. If you're asking yourself, who is Hyuna? Mm-hmm. Well, if you watch uh, the uh, Gangnam Style. Style music video, you'll see her. She's the girl. Yes. Dancing she's with the Sai. Girl. Uh-huh, on the subway. Yeah. <laughs> Being sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Here's some more background info. Hyuna was originally a member of the Wonder Girl. Really? By JYP, yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was only 15 at the time when she joined the group, but she had to leave very um, shortly after they debuted because mm-hmm. she had some health issues. And a year after that, she joined um, Cube Entertainment and then debuted with 4 Minute in 2009. Yeah. And she's been very successful ever since. Yes, everything's been working out very well. Yeah. And then in 2010, she released her first solo song called Change. Change. And then that started stirring up a lot of issues mm. and controversies because um, she was just too sexy. Yeah. And her music video actually got flagged with a 19 plus rating mm-hmm. because of her provocative dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and then since then, she was often dubbed as the second Ihori. <clears throat> Or the new sexy queen of Korea. And they do have some kind of resemblance. and uh, I think so. The way maybe they dance, the way they look. And... Yeah, maybe their facial expressions in the video. Yeah, yeah so I could see that they're b- both very attractive and sexy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it just seems that whatever song or performances Hyuna gets involved in, uh, like her solo track, Bubble Pop or Troublemaker songs. Bubble, bubble pop. <laughs> yeah. I think when Hyuna's in any performances or songs, it just becomes too sexy for some reason. Yeah. She just naturally gives off that vibe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's naturally um, her style or maybe it's also something her agency and something she wants to put forward. Yeah. And that's something, that's her trademark, I think, yeah. which is making her more successful. Part of her marketing strategy, maybe. Yeah. Her selling It's working point. well. Mm, it is. And recently, Hyuna actually just came back with a new solo album titled A Talk, A Talk. Mm -hmm. And then once again, she shocked everyone (laughs) with her upgraded sexiness. (laughs) Actually, her teaser photos and videos showed her almost nude, but Mm. in a very subtle way. So I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, her sexiness just keeps getting 
sexier. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then her new title track called Baigeo or Red has mm-hmm. already become a hot issue both online and offline. Uh, yeah. Uh, after its music video was just released on Monday. This week on Monday. And we're going to be playing the song soon, so stay with us. We're first going to ask you uh, several questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, And if you have the answers, make sure you participate here today. We'll try to make you win a K-pop CD. Good luck. Mm -hmm. What's question number one, please? Number one. What year did Hyuna debut as a solo artist? Which year? Is it number one, 2008? Number two, 2009? Number three, 2010? Number four, 2011. Yes, uh, and we also mentioned that she started her solo activities with the song Change. Maybe that will help you. Yeah, and I kind of gave that away when I was explaining the years. That's right. If you were listening, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you might get this one. Question number two. Number two. How many solo albums has Hyuna released so far? So this includes her new one. Is it number one? One. Number two. Two. Number three. Three. Number Mm -hmm. four. Four. Okay, so how many? One, two, three, or four? How many solo albums has Hyuna released so far? Mm-hmm. Question number three. Number three. Which boy band is Hyuna's troublemaker partner Hyunseung from? Uh-oh. So, yeah, I, uh, I'll give you a hint. He's from a group from Cube Entertainment. Mm-hmm. Is it number one, M Black? Number two, EXO? Number three, Beast? Number four, B2B? Okay, the Troublemaker is actually a project group uh, comprised of Hyuna and Hyunsung. Which group is Hyunsung a part of? Mm-hmm. M Black, EXO, Beast, or B2B? You tell us. Mm-hmm. And question number four. Number four. Which TV show has Hyuna not appeared in? Not, not. appeared in. So is it number one, Kang Simjang or Strong Heart? Number two, Roommate? Number three, Invincible Youth or Chongchun mm. Bulpe? Number four, Dancing with the Stars? Things are getting a bit hard. <laughs> Things are getting a bit hard. Which one is it? We're looking for a TV show she has not appeared in. Mm-hmm. Kang Simjang, Strong Heart, Roommate, Invincible Youth, Chongchun Purpe, or Dancing with the Stars. Which mm-hmm. one is it going to be? You tell us. And question number five. Number five. What's Hyuna's last name? Is it number one, Kim? Number two, Lee? Number three, Park number four song. Well, that's an interesting question as well. I never really thought about her last name because we always call her Hyuna. Yeah, she's just Hyuna. She's Hyuna. No last name. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see if uh, you are a true fan or not. Mm-hmm. We're looking for her last name. Kim Lee Park or Song. <laughs> Some of the very classic last names yes, here in Korea. One of the most common ones. Yes. And then, last question. Yeah. Open ended. Which one of Hyuna's songs, uh, either solo song or mm-hmm. four minute troublemaker, etc., yep. is your favorite? And tell us why. Okay, that's uh, the open question. And this question is also very important because uh, many of you will probably have all the questions right, mm-hmm. all the questions correct. So we will uh, select the lucky winner. Uh, according to this last question. So make sure you give us enough details about why you like this song the most and maybe you have some episodes you would like to share with us. Feel free. Once again, Debbie is showing us the CD you're going to be winning if you are selected. Good luck. We'll play two songs for you. I promised we would play her latest track. This is Palgeo, Red by Hyuna. And we will also add 4 Minute Muljoa. Is it popping? There you go. We just played uh, two tracks with Hyuna. The first one, Palgeo Red. Uh, that's her new track uh, for her solo activities. And also a song by 4 Minute, uh, Muljoa. Is it popping? Okay, welcome back. Uh, I guess Click Click Zoom continues with our K-Star quiz. We're focusing on Hyuna here today. Mm-hmm. Uh, we asked you different questions, uh, six in total. And we're going to go uh, to them one by one. We'll try to... Uh, I guess give you the answers and I'll try to answer them. (laughs) Uh, We'll see how many questions I have correct. All right. Good luck. Yes. Number one. Okay. Number one. What year did Hyuna debut as a solo artist? Is it number one, 2008? Number two, 2009? Number three, 2010? Number four, 2011. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we just uh, introduced Hyuna a little bit. And you mentioned the fact that she released her first solo song, Change, in 2009. So I will go for answer number two. Actually, Adrian, uh, I think you misheard me. (laughs) What did you say? I said she debuted with four minutes in 2009. maybe then. And yeah, she debuted as a solo in 2010. So I'm Uh-oh. just going to have to say, sorry. Okay. Why well, she... Uh, 
That happens. Yeah, Sometimes I know. you know the answer, but you give it no. I know. He was so confident, okay. too. Oh. 2010. <laughs> 2010. That's so her solo debut. Her, yeah, solo debut. And her four minute debut was actually 2009. 2009. So just one year after her uh, debut, she kicked yeah. off with her solo activity. That's mm-hmm. pretty quick. Yeah, and she was always like the center of attention. Yeah. So, yeah, good for her. Okay, answer number three. That's for the number first question. Uh-huh. Number two. Number two. How many solo albums has Hyuna released so far? Mm. So we're talking about full out albums here. Yeah, full uh, solo albums. Yes. Is it number one, one, number two, two, number three, three, number four, four? Uh huh. That's a good question. The first one, so the first one is Change. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. The one which includes Balgeo or Red, that's mm-hmm. her third album, I think. Mm-hmm. So that's her latest one. So I'll go for three solo albums. There you go. Ta-da. Yay! That's right. I guess her second album was probably Bubble Pop. Oh, that wasn't the title of the album, but yeah, that was the second album's title track. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so three solo albums so far for mm. Hyuna. Right. Question number three this time. Three. Which boy band is Hyuna's troublemaker partner Hyunseung from? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I mentioned that this group's going to be from Cube Entertainment. Yeah. And is it number one, M Black, number two, EXO, number three, Beast, number four, B2B? Yes, uh, this one I'm pretty confident. <laughs> it's a Beast of Cube Entertainment. There you go. Yay! Yeah, I think uh, we have um, we have actually several groups uh, in Cube Entertainment. Cube Entertainment is maybe... Maybe the fourth biggest entertainment maybe, company. Maybe, perhaps. We have SM Entertainment, YG Entertainment, JYP, JYP. and then maybe Cube. I Yeah, they come pretty perhaps. close. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so that's for Hyunsung. That's uh, with the project group uh, Troublemaker. Maybe you've seen some of uh, their songs, their music videos. I think uh, they go pretty well together. Yeah, they're a very catchy group. I like them. Hana and Hyunsung. Mm. Good luck to them. Question number four, please. Number four, which... TV show has Hyuna not appeared in. Oh, Is oh. it number one, Kang Simjang or Strong Heart? Number two, Roommate. Number three, Chongchun Bulpe or Invincible Youth. Number four, Dancing uh, with a Star. I think every week when you come with these questions like <laughs> not appeared in, I'm always lost and I really have I no know, idea. Those are my trick questions. <laughs> mm. I would go just by feeling, I would go for maybe two or three. Hmm. Mm, roommate or invincible youth mm. i think i'll go for three but this is really a random guess mm. okay and a three. good guess but <laughs> sorry you were close it was actually number two roommate. oh is it roommate yeah and Chongchun Bulpej, yeah she was actually kind of big on that show it, it was it's an old show though it's not playing i don't anymore. even know that show yeah <laughs> Chongchun Bulpej, like the first time i hear it. it was like a reality show with all these girl group members living on a farm yeah. <laughs> so that Maybe that's why I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so roommate, she did not appear in that TV show, mm-hmm. but she's been on various uh, variety shows before. Mm. She's always invited um, to show off, you know, a different side of herself and yeah, also and to promote think, her activities. Yeah, yeah, I think she has a fun character and that's why she gets invited to all these variety shows. Yeah. And last but not least, the fifth question. Number five, what's Hyuna's last name? Oh, this is also hard. And I'm not cheating. I didn't do any research. (laughs) Uh, I'm really uh, trying to guess. uh, Just take a while. Guess she's Korean. What's the most common last name? Uh, Lee or maybe Kim. Okay, which one is your answer? Well, mine is Lee, so I'll just go with a different one. I'll just go with Kim, maybe. You don't want her to have your last name? (laughs) No, it would be too easy. At the beginning, I was thinking maybe Song. I'll go with like the the, the least probable (laughs) guess. Maybe Song. All right, so what's your answer? I'll just go with number one. It's the easiest, I guess, the most popular last name. So, Kim. Yeah. Really? Wow, good job. So, her last name is Kim Hyuna? It's Kim Hyuna, yes. Huh. Not to um, get confused with uh, Kim Yona. <laughs> yeah, very similar the sounding. The figure uh, skating queen. The Kim Yona and Kim Hyuna. 
Oh, it's different kinds of queens here in Korea, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> that her last name is Kim. Okay, very good. Thank you very much um, for your answers here. Okay, let's go through number six um, open-ended answers that we got. Yeah, we had a lot of people actually sending us uh, their comments and uh, their feedback. I'm going to start off here with uh, Quack saying, I like Troublemaker because I'm a bit of a troublemaker myself <laughs> in a cute. good way, though. Yes, if there is such a thing. <laughs> yeah, and I have Skander from Tunisia saying my favorite Hyuna solo or yeah, Hyuna song is mm -hmm. actually Troublemaker also because the songs are for couples and it shows consistency, harmony and yeah, between this couple. And it makes me dream, uh -huh. dream to be like them. Okay. So yeah, so I think uh, Skander finds this song very special. And uh, with a lot of inspiration, maybe. Yeah. We also have yes. HDM1512 from India here. My favorite song is What's Your Name? Mm. The music uh, By four minute. of this song is very catchy. Mm. And the lyrics as well. I love that song. I love that song. Uh, she, Getting too personal there. <laughs> yeah, all these questions in the song. So you can actually uh, try to learn um, some Korean while listening to the lyrics. Oh, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, yeah, that's a great way to learn some Korean. It's very <laughs> practical too. And then I have Lydia from Indonesia saying, Volume Up by 4 Minutes. Ah, yeah. Because I get new energy after I listen to this song every That's true. Time. That's a really good booster when you need uh, some energy mm. when you're feeling a bit down. Oh. Volume <laughs> Up. Put your hands up. <laughs> Okay, um, let me see here. We have a uh, four-minute song, Hot Issue. Mm -hmm. They promoted this song in uh, in her country, in the Philippines. This is a message by Misty Blue. She mm. says uh, 2010 or 2011, and one local TV show played a Hot Issue every time <laughs> they started their program. Oh. Um, it's like a showbiz program, I think. Mm. And I also love Troublemaker. Just love the collaboration with Hyunsung. That's what Misty Blue says. Mm, good job. Mm -hmm. And I have Noor Habib from Saudi Arabia saying, I really, really recommend Creating Love. Uh, it's not a very common track, but it's from Personal Taste soundtrack. And it's just so sweet and cute. I don't know. I love it. There aren't a lot of people who know about this song, and I don't understand why, because it's probably one of their best songs. Huh. Creating Love. Mm -hmm. Creating Love. Christina from Indonesia here. I love uh, Troublemaker by Troublemaker. <laughs> the uh, whistling gave the mysterious feel to it, and it's really catchy. Can you whistle? <laughs> Not <laughs> There's now. some whistling going on in that song. And she's uh, also mentioning, I used it as my ringtone. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that whistling was really catchy. So shall we announce the winner? Shall we? Yes, we shall. Yes. Congratulations to Atikwa Abid Rahim from Malaysia. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, your ID is Atikwa94. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they said my favorite Hyuna song would be Now, Now by Troublemaker. Now. Uh, I didn't realize until now, but actually two of my favorite songs happen to be 19 and uprated songs. <laughs> um, and first is actually Quit Playing by You Kiss, but second is Now by Troublemaker. And it's really not about 19 rated music video, but the songs are very good and mm -hmm. they give, they put me in a good mood. And even when I'm listening to the music without watching the video, the songs are very addicting. In my opinion, through this song, Hyuna's rap gets better and better. And I just think, wow. 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 Hyuna yeah. 언니 사랑해, 화이팅! Uh, and I love Adrian too. <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> you kind of surprised me there. Thank you. Okay, so you'll be uh, our lucky winner for our the K-Star quiz today. History. And you'll be getting this uh, history CD over here. I'm showing it uh, to the camera if you're watching us right now. Congratulations. congratulations once again. Winner information is where you have to leave us your details at Tika94. Check out our website, arirangradio.com slash catch the wave. Debbie, thank you for coming in. You're welcome. I'll see you next Wednesday. Next Next Wednesday for another edition of Click Click Zoom. And we will uh, keep things uh, running here on our program. Primary featuring Zion T and Gecko. See through.